You know, this is a game where when we're trying to develop a young group and we're trying to develop a team, it's very important that we approach this game with the level of focus and intensity that we need to. I think that our biggest focus going into this game was playing 40 minutes of high energy, high focus basketball. And we were really proud of our defensive effort there in the second and in the third. I, I feel like uh, you take 20 seconds off the second, we, we might have had one point that they scored in that second quarter. So our defensive effort was there. I, I think that we're starting to click offensively. You're able to see that in some of the passes and some of the one wars, the wide open layups. We had a nice backdoor feed today, which that felt good to get that one. Uh, but also, you know, the thing that I'm, I'm most proud of this group about is buying into what we're trying to do. And I think that a game like this is a confidence boost for everybody. If we play unselfish basketball, if we have a shared ball, we had four players in double figures, you know, and two more, so six that were really flirting with double figures. Um, if we can play unselfish basketball, have an 18 assist, and play our defense and play the gritty defense that we know we can play, we're going to be a really tough team uh, come March. And so that's something that we're continuing to chip away at and very proud of how they showed up today and how they competed. Questions for Coach Clark. You always talk about turnovers, and that's always a headache. You only had 12 tonight, two in the first half. Yeah. Did you he, talk about that? Did y'all work on that? Yeah, we have been. I think one of the things, uh, and some of those turnovers were still, I felt self-inflicted and not inflicted by the defense, but – being under 15 turnovers for the first time this season feels really good. I think one of the things that we've really focused in on, and Carson can attest to this, this this week in our offense, was reading the defense. And there was a lot of times where you would see a one more pass to a wide open a wide open shooter and we're knocking it down in the corner, or we're reading when, when we're delivering on time on target on some of our cuts. And so we put an intentional effort into our offense this week and to see that it paid off with 18 assists versus only 12 turnovers, I was really proud of that. I still think there's some turnovers that were self-inflicted that we can take away, but seeing the uh, progress for us, I think is important because it reinforces if, we're, if we keep trending in the right direction, we keep buying into what the system and what we're doing, we're going to continue to get better in that category. Obviously, this is a game you should have won, should have won big, and you did. What was your number one goal tonight? My number one goal was that everybody who went in had the right kind of intensity and the right kind of energy for a basketball game. And I feel like this, is a, this game is a great opportunity for some of our players who maybe don't get as much playing time to come in and showcase what they're able to do. And I thought everybody who stepped on the court today played really well. I thought everyone who stepped on the court knew the game plan, knew our scout, and was playing aggressively, and that's really what we're, we're hoping for. You mentioned uh, looking for you know them to come out and have that motor for the full, full game. Yeah. Is that a big reason why, or one of the reasons why you may have had some of the starters in there late in the fourth? I saw like at least a little bit deeper than you would think in a game like this. Yeah, well, we – one of the reasons was we had one of our freshmen in and I wanted her to be with a group that was pretty cohesive. So maybe making it a little bit easier on her defensively uh, when she was in there to start the fourth with that group. And then we're very limited in the point guard position. So we had to have either Seager or Kaya in there to end the game. And so that's a little bit why we rode them out a little bit longer than maybe we would have traditionally. But having you know our second unit come in for the last six minutes, I thought they played – you know, some good basketball. We, we gave up some unnecessary shots there, but we were able to get out and score and execute our offense. Carson, now that we're six games in here, and, and you just heard Coach mention just getting close to you know, playing the bread of basketball that you guys want to, do you feel that as well? Do you feel, or do you see what, what the, you guys are trying to accomplish and feel the team maybe getting closer to, to what you guys can, can be this season potentially? Yeah, for sure. I mean, in the non-conference, you take it one game at a time, and you look at it, you grow from it, and we've had a lot of growing pain so far, but it's important that, you know, we're learning in the non-conference, so we're peaking in conference. So I definitely think we're getting better every single game, win or loss. And you mentioned some of those growing pains. I know you guys have dealt with a lot of injuries this season. Uh, how much of you, and you think about Secret, have been here a while, you know, rely on those past experiences? You know, you guys have seen plenty of adversity here, mm -hmm. and, or just in general. How much uh, do you rely on those experiences to, to maybe help lead this team through this, uh, you know, some of these growing pains and, and, and help out some of these younger girls as you guys continue to grow? 
Yeah, Seager and I, we're, we're stepping into new roles this year, and we really had to step up in the leadership position, and that's something we're learning every single day as well, but the reason we're getting better at that is because we are relying on those past experiences. Um, with the injuries and just with a young group and stuff, it's important. we know that they're looking to us, and it's important for us to be on our A game every single day, and that's just a mindset we have to come in with. Coach, how beneficial was it to have maybe this game when it happened? You know, you're five games in, six games, it's kind of you lost back-to-back -back games, kind of boom, get your feet back up, you get a win, kind of take a deep breath, and, and like Carson said, you know, kind of take it one game at a time to sort of kind of have maybe like this sort of uh, get right game, if you will, uh, at least, you know, this early in the season, because I mean, shoot, we're not even at Thanksgiving. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think from from my standpoint, whoever we're facing, we want to be consistent in our effort. And I think this was a game where it allows us to, when we have that consistent effort, get rewarded when sometimes you don't. You know, I thought we played really tough basketball at Mississippi State. You know, it was a four point game going into halftime and we just didn't play it for the whole 40 minutes. And so it's it's really about using this game as a confidence boost for some of those younger players. Carson's been through the gauntlet. Seagren's been through the gauntlet. Uh, they understand that there's natural ebbs and flows. But as far as giving a game to some of our younger players, some of our transfers, some of our freshmen, to be able to come in and feel comfortable and, and feel like they get their feet under them is going to be huge. You know, we got a big game coming up. Uh, back at McKenzie uh, Arena with uh, Lipscomb coming up, and, and we want to make sure that this is setting the tone for the kind of energy and effort needed uh, for that game. One of those uh, freshmen, uh, Gianna, seems to be off to a pretty good start. She's had a couple of good games. Uh, played pretty great again tonight. What are some uh, things that, obviously, you know, you recruited her, so you see the flat, you have in your mind what she potentially be, but, you know, uh, how have you seen thus far from her potential on the floor actually playing college basketball? Gianna is one of those players. She reminds me of Paul Pierce because sometimes she just makes it look easy. Like, like she just she looks like she's in slow motion, but it's still easy. And I, I feel like she's somebody that she's working through what college basketball looks like. And so she's working through different elements of her game that she's got to get better at. And we know that she's a natural scorer, but she also takes a lot of pride in her defense. And that's something that she's been working on. And so to be able to play in a game, you know, and play 18 minutes and get some reps to work on her defense and different uh, ways to get better in those capacities, the sky's the limit for her and for the rest of the freshmen. You know, Izzy was our, our leader the other night. Uh, Ava could very well be our leader the next night. And so uh, any game that we can have where we can show the freshmen, like, look how perfect this is for you. This is going to be a great system for you to work in. It, it really helps us out because then that increases that buy-in and, and they're able to double down on what we're doing. And Carson, obviously it's tough to pinpoint one or two things, but you know, through six games and early on, what do you feel is uh, some of the bigger things that maybe this team could improve on? You know, some things that, that there's still a lot of potential tapped into and, and things that you really got to work on that could lead to some success. Um, a big focal point for us tonight was rebounding. Yes, you and got it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at the first half, we gave up seven awards, six awards, something like that. They scored eight points off of it. Um, and we went into the second half knowing that we needed to take some pride in that. And um, it looks like we out rebounded them, out rebounded them by 10. Should have been 20 plus, but um, that's a huge focal point. And also the turnovers, you know. We're averaging 20 turnovers a game like that going down into season and hitting conference that's not going to be acceptable and so that's just something we're really working on in practice and I do 100% believe we're going to get better at.